Hello everyone, I'm Yi Peng Su. It's my pleasure to have this opportunity to introduce you a high density, high current point of load module with PCB embedded inductor substrate. In previous 3D integrated POL module developed in CPAS, the active layer is built by multi-layer PCB and the inductor substrate is designed and fabricated with LTCC ferrite, which needs to be sinted at more than 800 degrees C. Following this structure, the megahertz POL modules with GAN devices achieve close to 1000 watt per cubic inch power density. However, this solution is not cost effective due to the high temperature and relatively complicated process. Later on, we proposed the PCB integrated POL module by sandwiching the magnetic layer into multi-layer PCB. The metal flake composite core is embedded in FR4 epoxy. The winding of the inductor is constructed with conventional PCB wires and copper layer. The PCB embedded inductor substrate can be easily extended from singleton to multi-ton structure. The performance of the metal flake material can be improved by lateral alignment of the flake. In addition, the lateral alignment of the flake is also good for the low-profile inductor structure with lateral flux pattern proposed by CPAS. We characterize the magnetic properties of NEC flake material and compare with the LTCC ferrite we used previously. It can be seen. The flake material has lower coloss density while well, much higher permeability, which gives more than 60% core volume reduction. The metal-based core material is very easy to be cut and drilled by PCB milling machine. The POL system integration is implemented by four-layer PCB. The first layer is the active layer. The switching node is connected to the inductor by a through wire. The third and the fourth layers are the winding of the inductor, between which the core layer is embedded. The second layer is a shield layer. The right hand side shows the cross section view of the POL module. Two ounce copper is used for the active and shield layer. Four ounce copper is used for the winding layers to reduce the DCR conduction loss. Here are the PCB integrated PL module and its motherboard for testing. The copper is electroplated on the vertical side of the PCB for connection to the motherboard. The next fed power stage from Texas instrument and the caps are mounted on the top of the PCB substrate. The metal flake core is compatible with PCB laminating technique. The application of standard PCB process reduced the cost for manufacturing such integrated module due to the easy automation and low temperature process. The POL modules working at 1.5 MHz and 2 MHz are designed and fabricated. The thickness of the whole system is smaller than 4 mm. The modules achieve more than 88% efficiency and around 700 watt per cubic inch power density. The module mounted on the motherboard is painted black for thermal evaluation. It works at 12 volt input and 1.2 volt output, 1.5 MHz switching frequency, 25 degrees C ambient temperature and 200 LF airflow. The maximum temperature of the module is 75 degrees C at full load condition. That's all for my presentation. Thank you for your attention. See you next time.